Hi everybody, I'm Mona and this is Skindipity. And today we are gonna dive into the world of drugstore beauty. So if you're interested in getting a decent, affordable face of makeup and getting a good look, then follow me into this, this video. I am going to showcase CoverGirl Simply Ageless 3-in-1 Foundation. It's L'Oreal's Lumi Glotion for that glow. I mean, look at this highlighter, ladies. Oh, it is a highlight that is a cream highlight, so it is not accentuating pores or texture, but it's giving me the glow that the young people can have. It's the only way I can get the glow that the young people can have without a cakiness. And so this is the Alme Glow On. So we're going to glow on and into this look. We also have the Revlon Lippy. We have a Maybelline Soda Pop Palette, which is so fun. Rimmel Lip Liner. Mix Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. We have Physician's Formula Dewy Blush Elixir. Don't y'all think that I have a dewy blush look today? We are going to have some fun with drugstore makeup for sure today. So I hope that you stick around and watch me get an eye look and a face look that looks dewy and glowy. Definitely affordable. This palette is actually very complimentary on blue eyes, and I would imagine that some of the colors would be very complimentary on green eyes and brown eyes as well, because we have kind of a little variety in here. Oh, and I already did my eyes, but we actually have Instant Lift Brow Pencil by e.l.f. This is a very decent eye pencil. Turns up. It's got the little spoolie on the other end. So let's get into it without further ado. This has been a requested video for a little while now, and I'm finally getting to it. We're going to start with a primer, the Lumi Glotion. This is by L'Oreal. This is moisturizing. has a little bit of glow to it, and it also has a little bit of tack, so it's a good primer for underneath your foundation. Simply Ageless by CoverGirl. This is three-in-one liquid foundation in Classic Ivory, which is number 210, and the claims are that it instantly reduces the appearance of wrinkles, that it improves tone, and it delivers firming moisture. So how can we go wrong with that? Always would I forget. I'm not going anywhere today, so I'm just wearing my Air Supply concert shirt that I got with my mom when we went for our girls' trip. For me, I would say that this was, this was light coverage. You can see it's not covering that new little AK, that pre-cancer, skin cancer that I'm getting on this cheek. So it doesn't have high coverage, but it does have a dewy, moisturizing finish. And it does even skin tone. I'm going to go in with my NYX Dark Circle Concealer Co Color Corrector. And try to color correct these dark circles. And for a drugstore product at this price point, I think it does a very nice job of color correcting dark circles without being drying or cakey or settling in my lines. 
I am going to go in with the Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I think it does a very good job of covering. I'm going to tap that in. foundation brush which is a little large I could have used a flat eye brush as well but it's right here and it works and to set that we're gonna go in with another drugstore product this is timeless this is the Cody airspun loose face powder my grandmother used Cody and the smell still reminds me of her. Just gonna pick up a little bit on a fluffy brush. Not gonna set it all over yet because I'm going in with a cream blush. I just wanna set my under eyes right now. So I found a drugstore cream blush that I am in love with. And it is becoming one of my favorite blushes. This is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir with Super Fruit. And this is what it looks like. It has a nice little pump dispenser. However, I broke it. <laughs> Which is typical Mona. So, normally, you would just pump like this and you would get it on your finger and be able to just dot it on. But because I broke it, don't let that be a reflection of the product itself because it is not. Look at this color, how pretty. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that on my finger since I broke it. Not the product's fault. Got that mostly on the apple of my cheek. And then I'm just going to blend it in. This gives a dewy sheen. It is perfect for mature skin because it does not settle into lines of wrinkles. It does not emphasize pores. It is a lovely wash of color. I am particularly in love with this this particular shade kind of a peachy rose i think it would be flattering on any skin type there are darker shades too now the other drugstore product that i have that is also dewy and liquidy is the highlight this is the glow on highlight by Neutrogena. And this is a liquid highlighter in the color Moonlight Galaxy. Packaging is nice. Look at that. And especially for me being a mature woman, I love cream highlighters. cream products in general better than I do powders. I'm just going to tap that onto my cheekbone. Look at that. I think this is lovely. I'm just patting it in now just to make sure everything's kind of melded into my skin. 
I am going to go ahead and go in with the Cody all over. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. I think this one's by Tarte, I think. Using Cody Boy. Just the smell of that just it's so reminiscent of my grandmother, my sweet, sweet grandmother. We are going to go in with, I have two um, eyeshadow sets that I really like at the drugstore. One is creams that would go with our cream theme, cream theme. So maybe I'll use these. This is by Revlon and these are really pretty colors. But I also had picked up this Maybelline Soda Pop palette. They had had the lemonade one that I had in the summer. Look at these colors. They have a slight scent of maybe root beer. It's nothing extreme. And these have some pretty neutrals, cools, warms, and pops of color. I also have my Revlon little pots. This is creme brulee. I'm going to go all over my eye in this first, kind of as a primer. I'm just going to use a kind of flat brush. And I guess if I was going to use my if I'm going to use my cream palette, I don't need to do this, but I think I'm still making up my mind. All right, and usually after I apply that, I also go in with a little bit of powder. And set that down. And I'm still using the Cody. I had a little bit of fallout from the Cody, so I just picked it up. All right then. So soda pop or cream. I feel like the soda pop would be more fun today, but then I'm going, you know what? I just powdered my eyes. So I think that maybe I shouldn't go back over it with the creams. Let me swatch these instead, and then I'm gonna go in with the soda pop palette. Look at this. I wish I had used this one. This is the Revlon Cream Palette. Look how pretty that is. I just really love it. I really, really love that brown color too. We're gonna do Soda Pop. I am gonna go in. For my transition color, I am going to go in with the color Cola Float. Now these shadows definitely do have kick up. But they're highly pigmented as you can see. makes blue eyes pop. Can you see the difference in my eye? Go a little bit heavier on this side to balance it up. Okay, so now I am going to go in under the brow bone with the color Ginger Ale. These palettes don't have a mirror, but it's a very reasonable price point and you can get really cute looks.
All right, on the eyelid, I am gonna go in with the color Cherry Cola, which is this pink color right here. That just looks so fun. This color is really pigmented, shimmery, kind of like a metallic. And the color payout is immense. Let's take that big fluffy bl blush. I think I brush, I'm. blend these colors I am going to go into that outer V with the color root beer I'm going to clean up the outer edge after we're done. There's definitely a lot of fallout. So I would say this is probably one that you'd want to put on your eye makeup or your eyeshadow first. Let's clean this up just a little bit. Gonna lighten up the lid by going over it with this color tonic. All right, now we're gonna use, I have a drugstore eyeliner. It is Maybelline also. This is the Master Precise All Day in Brown. We are going to go in with my Lash Sensational by Maybelline also. But I want to add a little bit of purple to this look. We're going to go in with cherry on top. Just to deepen this outer V. 
in the crease. And I'm going to go in a little bit. All right, last thing is going to be my drugstore lippy. So we're going to use, this is Revlon. Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish, which I really enjoy, with a Rimmel Liner. This is just the Rimmel Liner in Blushing Nude. To me, it's very flattering, it's very creamy, and it goes with a multitude of my lip colors that I choose. So look at this. This is such a pretty color. It's kind of like a, a mauve nude, I would say. What do y'all think? I think that you can get a decent look. I think that you can get a decent look from a drugstore variety of products. I should have brought my brush in here. What do y'all think? I think that that palette makes my blue eyes pop. And there are so many looks that you can get with it, for sure. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me drugstore style makeup video. And if you did, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. We do everything here, Mature Beauty. What's the most flattering for Mature Beauty? And you know, if it looks good on a mature woman, it's definitely going to look good on a younger woman because their skin is flawless. So, you know it's good if it looks good on us. I hope that I see you in the next video. Give me a comment. Interact. Let me know what you think of this type of video uh, mixed in with some of the higher end videos. And I hope you all are having a great day. Bye. See you in the next video.